guys, it's Jessie V. And in today's video, we are talking about Video Barbie once again. I have covered her once on my channel before. She had a lot of issues out there when she was first launched. And so I found a creepy pasta about this kid that accidentally recorded a crime using her Video Barbie. It's crazy. Before I get started though, as you can see, I have a new backdrop behind me. I love a bookshelf. I love a dark, dim library. I love that there's like a cute little lantern illuminating this side. This is totally my vibe. I love it. So I'll be announcing the winner of last month's backdrop and that winner is Crochet Kitty 28 so congratulations. And if you would like to win this backdrop behind me, all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel and turn on your notification bell. And then head over to my vlog channel. It's called V Vlogs and comment the book emoji on one of our recent videos. By the way, do you like my Barbie vibes for today's video? I'm even wearing a pink potion necklace that is available on our website. And by the way, I have decided that all the way up until Christmas, I will constantly be giving you guys free gifts on our website. I feel like this is the time of year where you're going to get gifts and stuff for Christmas. And so having that extra thing, that extra gift, I feel like is just kind of nice this time of year. So starting now for the next 48 hours after this video goes live, if you get anything on our website, you will get a free wish bracelet. Now this is so cool because encased in a resin bubble, there is a real dandelion fluff. And you guys know the legend, you can make a wish on a dandelion. So if you get this bracelet, you get one wish and you get to wear that wish around your wrist. That's almost a tongue twister. I just think they are so beautiful and you can actually pull it to fit the size of your wrist. So yeah, starting now, if you get anything on the website, you will get this for free. This is what it looks like when a free item is in your cart. You will see it at the very bottom, you'll see that little green toggle turned on. If you turn it off, that means you don't want it. So make sure you keep it turned on. So yeah, with all that being said, let's get right into today's video. So this story is called Barbie Saw Everything. And I hate that title. That is so eerie to me. So this is about a girl named Angela and she had a little sister who really, really wanted a video Barbie for her birthday. She'd seen the commercials, a Barbie doll with a tiny camera embedded in her neck and a screen on her back where you could watch whatever she recorded. And it was supposed to be a harmless toy, fun for kids. So Angela got it for her birthday and in hindsight, she wishes she never had. The first few days, her sister brought the Barbie everywhere, capturing videos of her playing, of their dog barking, of their parents cooking dinner. And it was very, very cute at first because she just wanted to record absolutely everything until things took a turn and got very disturbing. One afternoon her sister came to her and said can you help me with Barbie there's something very weird in her video so curious Angela took the Barbie and pressed play and the recording began with her sister chatting to the camera as she wandered around their backyard but then Angela noticed something very strange there was a figure in the corner of their backyard it was a man who was standing in the shadow of a tree and he looked like he was doing something suspicious he was bent over, sort of digging on the ground. It literally looked like he was hiding something in the bushes of their backyard. And Angela knew her sister must have been curious because she just stood there recording the man with her Barbie. And the man eventually turned around as if he felt someone was watching him and he looked directly at the camera and then ran away. So at first, Angela tried to just brush it off. Maybe it was one of their neighbors, maybe like one of their dog's toys had gone over the backyard or one of their kids balls had gone over the fence but as she went to bed that night something just wasn't sitting right with her because their backyard was private no one should have been in there if something went over the fence you'd think the neighbor would first go to their front door and tell them so the next day out of curiosity and maybe a little bit of paranoia she decided to take a look around where the man had been standing and sure enough there was something buried under the dirt it was this small pile of torn up fabric and a glove. And the glove was indeed stained with something. Later that night, she replayed the footage, pausing on the man's face. And there was just something really sinister about his expression. And there was also something so eerie about the way he was staring into the Barbie's camera. So then she went online to see if there was any weird reports of someone doing something like this, any weird news articles. And that's when she saw it. A local woman had gone missing earlier that week. And the article mentioned 
her last known location and listed a few personal items she'd had with her and Angela's stomach dropped because they talked about the clothes she was wearing and it looked just like the fabric in their backyard. And it also talked about how she had been wearing gloves. So Angela called the police trying to explain the situation. They came over, took the evidence and even asked for the Barbie. And Angela felt so weird handing over her sister's doll as evidence. And days passed and eventually the officer did return the doll. And he told her that the footage had been helpful whatever that meant. He wasn't allowed to give her any more details. All he said was that they had located a suspect and that the video might be used as evidence in the case. Angela tried going back to normal after that, but her sister was afraid of the doll, didn't want to play with it anymore. I don't blame her for that. So Angela just kept the doll tucked away in a closet. Weeks later, when the case had made the trial, Barbie's video was mentioned in the news. Apparently the man they'd recorded had been tied to other disappearances in the nearby towns. They had called him the neighborhood stalker. And if it hadn't been for Barbie, they may not have caught him. So now every time Angela sees one of those video Barbies on the shelf, she gets a chill. And she wonders how many other dark secrets they've inadvertently recorded waiting for someone to notice. And I was actually able to find a couple reviews from parents who also noticed something weird happening with their video Barbie. These also might be fictional, but still interesting to read. This first review, is titled Stranger Danger. It has a one star and it's from a user named mom underscore of underscore two. I thought this doll would be a fun gift for my daughter, but it ended up giving us both nightmares. A few days after she started using it, she showed me a video of a man who seemed to be watching her from across the street. At first, I thought it was just a coincidence, but the next day she recorded him again closer. We called the police and they identified him as someone who had been reported in other neighborhoods. This doll accidentally saved my daughter, but I'd never buy it again. Too creepy. And then another one, which is pretty similar. It's titled Barbie Caught a Thief. Three stars by user Dad in the Suburbs. My daughter was obsessed with her video Barbie and took it everywhere. A few weeks in, she showed me a video she took in the backyard. She didn't think much of it, but I noticed a stranger in the background going through our shed. We showed the video to our neighbors and it turns out there had been a string of break-ins nearby. Thanks to Barbie, we were able to give the police a description of the guy. Cool tech, but not the way I wanted to use it. If you buy this, keep an eye on the footage. Who knows what else it might catch? It's just so creepy. It's so creepy to think that a little toy could capture crimes like this. If you've ever owned Video Barbie, let me know if it captured anything strange. Anyways, so guys, that is the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know you guys love the creepy nostalgia stuff, so I will keep it up. And don't forget, if you would like a wish bracelet, you can get one for free now on our website if you purchase anything. Only available for the next 48 hours while supplies last. But yeah, anyways, I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!